All right, time for a new update in H3 VR. We just got, uh, after a long break, Anton is back and uh, giving us some new things. Oop, let me just scoot myself back here. All right, so let's check out the new stuff. As you can see, it's all revolvers. <clears throat> uh, just watch the video for all the in-depth stuff. Uh, Anton talks about the uh, cool things with these, but I'm just going to shoot these off. Starting with this big boy right here. This is the B600. And oh yeah, Anton added that that uh, specific uh, little function right there on the uh, menu, uh, sorry, the, uh, the uh, panel here. You can now uh, see what gun you're holding, which is pretty nice. So that makes things a lot easier. Instead of me having to look through my little nose hole here in my VR headset to see the, uh, whatchamacallit, the patch notes or the uh, change log uh, yeah, so this fires the, oh, well, it doesn't tell you the, um, it doesn't tell you the, the ammunition type, which kind of sucks. Uh, well, it's, uh, I, that's, that's not, not what I mean by that. I mean, it, it's, it's still cool. This is still cool, but it, it just doesn't tell you the ammunition type, which I, I would, I would like, uh, one day to have. So let's see, this one fires the, again, looking through my nose hole here, 600 Magnum Bolt. And uh, as you can see, I've uh, taken the time to spawn the acquired ammunition. Whoops. I don't know why. Oh, back here. So let's uh, take a look at this stuff. Let me spawn lock this first. Make sure it's all there. Good. All right, this is jacketed hollow point. You can tell it's got a hollow point. It's good for stopping uh, armored, no, unarmored targets. Let me just... Oh, and yeah, again, this is the revolver update, so this is going to be really kind of hard for us lefties. In fact, maybe I should switch over to right-handed mode. Or just right-handed mode. I should just switch hands. <laughs> There's no option to switch handedness in this game. You just have to do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let me just switch over to my right hand here. Open up the uh, chambers. Let's try the jacketed hollow point. For the... Oh, man. 600... Magnum bolt is that's what it, is that that's what it's called. All right, this is gonna be hard to shoot because I, again I am left-handed, left eye dominant. Ah, not bad. Ooh, it's really hard to. <sighs> okay. That is a loud and big gun. All right. Now we got the armor piercing, you can tell by the really pointy tip. Stick a couple of these babies in there. Okay, this is going to be tough. Not used to shooting with my other hand. Oh, is that a bullseye? That was a bullseye. Look at that. That was pretty cool. Okay. Oh, no. Uh... I'm a little high. Oh, that was another bullseye. All right, that was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, and the final round, which I can't show off here. I think I'd have to go to the probing grounds, but I mean, I've already set up all the guns in a nice orderly manner. So, I, you know, I don't really want to leave the scene. I mean, I could pause the game and redo all of this stuff in the probing grounds, but I just want to shoot them. So this is the, um, oh, what is this called? Hold on. The sticky explosive. Like I said, it's, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, show here because this is not a living target. But yeah, see, when you, uh, when you fire it, it sticks into the target. And it just slides off. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, there is sort of a drop. You're gonna have to aim a little. Yeah, sort of like that, I guess. Let me just do this again. Wow, <laughs> that was fast. That's usually faster than doing it left-handed. Let me let me let me do this left-handed. All right, there is a drop. I see that was bullseye right there. You just say hey, you gotta account for the drop. Maybe aim like this. 
Yep, got another bullseye. This is this is this is how you uh oh sorry for the explosions uh, explosions. This is how you reload as a lefty. Yeah, either do this and then do some strange way to put the bullets in, which is kind of hard to do like that. You know, you gotta or you can flip it around and uh, <laughs> eject the bullets like that. Do this. I should have spawned more. Close it up. Flip it back. Whoa, oh no. I don't want to lose my guns. So let's not do that anymore. But yeah, that's what you got right there with the B600. I love this thing. <laughs> I, I, saw, I really have a bad memory sometimes. I, I kind of forget things. As you probably notice while I'm playing, I just like... I like have a brain fart or something. I can't remember things. And it usually comes back, right? Like maybe in the afternoon, I won't be playing. I mean, I'll just be sitting there eating or something. And then, oh, that was the AK something, you know? But yeah, all right, let's just get rid of all this stuff. I'm glad that Anton put this, uh, oh, a magazine for the VP9. That's Wait, hold on. Uh, Meat Fortress Bali Song. Okay, does that work with like a lot of things? Let me just see, hold on. Let's go to crafting. Get a tin can here. Banger Junk Tin Can V0. Version 0, I guess, yeah. That's pretty cool. It gives you actual item names. <clears throat> so if you don't know what this is, you'll see this in the scene. Like, what is this? It's a backpack. Backpack A. Does that mean there are going to be other backpacks? That'd be really nice. <laughs> All right. So hold on. Just one more thing. Uh, let's see. Heat Fortress? Uh, I think I'll tell you what. They... Let me... Uh... Well, the, the names are there already. Oh, well, you know what? That's cool, though. I, I like that. Let's just get rid of this stuff. All right. So what's up next? We have the <clears throat> Bull 454. Finally, we have a... Well, we have one out of many guns that can now use the 454 Kassel. Is that how you pronounce it? Kassel? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's probably Kassel. I'm just saying it wrong. But let me just check the uh, thing out. Oh, we got some uh, we got some different types of bullets here. Instead of just the standard, what is this tracer? <clears throat> no, there's no tracer for this. Oh, well, that is pretty much a tracer. Spawn a single cartridge here. Flex tip. Well, I guess it's a tracer. Oh, also, you know what? I need to turn off bullet trails. Ugh. Makes things easier. But it's cheating, so. Let's grab this. I think that might be a... Uh, what am I doing? Oh, no, I don't want that. Let's get rid of those. Clear those out later. Just want a single cartridge. Three, four, five, six. Throw those away. Switch hands. All right, let's just get rid of that. Oh, this one has five. Okay, well, that's just going to be... Oh, no, come on. All right. There we go. So, flex tip. What does flex tip do? Uh, well, you know what? Let's just bring this along with, <laughs> with us here. We can spawn some uh, cartridges over here instead. So we got flex tip. Oh, it's not a tracer. Oh, maybe it is. It's just a little too, too close. You can't really see it. Yeah, it's a tracer. Flex tip. <clears throat> just your standard bullet. High green. Which, uh... Two, three, four, five. Throw those away. Oh, that would be a bad idea. <laughs> Not with the other bullets. All right. High green, which looks to be a bit more powerful. Ooh, aiming this stuff is pretty tough. 
Oh, I got it close. Yeah, a little low. Oh, I'm out. All right, JHP, jacketed hollow point. Let's see, let me just do this. Two, three, four, five. Throw those away. Sweep that up later. Well, you can't really see a difference on this target, but it should stop uh, stop unarmored targets. Yeah, penetrator, which uh, looks really crazy. Two, three, four, five. Throw those away. <laughs> Let me just uh... okay. Little to the left there. Closer. Uh, I was close to the bullseye. It's not exactly dead center, but okay. That's penetrator and soft points. Hmm. All right. Is that softer than the hollow point? I'm not sure. Ballistics was never really my f thing. I have like a basic understanding. Oop. But all the specifics, I don't really know. Alright, so that's the Bull 454. Pretty cool. Stick that in there. Get rid of these, uh... Oh, my touchpad is just broken on this controller. I really need to switch controllers here. Let me just, uh... Do that. Next up is... The, uh... CAT-51 conversion. Which fires in... Uh, 38 rimfire. Okay. So this one. And it is a single action revolver. It has a little loading gate. You can spin the uh, the cylinder with the uh, touchpad right. Which is oh my goodness! This are you kidding me? How's this not working? Oh no! It's even worse on this controller. <laughs> touchpad right. Why aren't you? Uh... There we go. Now it's working. All right. So. Let's uh, go to the target over here. Oh, you know what I should do? I should try to put some attachments on these things. See if they work with the uh, suppressors and stuff. Oh, come on now. There we go. I think I got all of them. Yep. Okay. So single action. Rimfire cartridge. Hmm, not bad. A little high there. I can't really see anything due to all the uh, smoke. Come on. Am I all empty? Please tell me I'm empty. Okay. Six. Six. Huh. I don't know how many rounds this thing takes, because I can't really tell. Maybe eight? <laughs> so let me just do a couple things here. Hold down the trigger, and uh, press down on the touchpad to uh, pull back the hammer automatically and fire. And do that. Reload this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven rounds? Huh. Oh, you can also spin these. They're revolvers, so. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. Hold on. There we go. 
Can you hammer the... Or can you fan the hammer? <laughs> can you hammer the fan? I think that was seven. Oh, come on. There we go. So let's do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And also the uh, hammer test. Okay, you don't want to put a loaded round in there. Do cowboy loads. So six, just do six. Since this is seven. So one, skip one. Close it. It should be on a, whoop, nope. I did it wrong. <laughs> Let me do that again. I'm pretty sure it was that. Oh, no, 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 it was uh, one. Oh, maybe I just skipped ahead for some reason. I don't understand. Yeah, see, my, my, my trackpad is just not doing good things. Well, that was close enough. I don't exactly know what's going on with my trackpad. But yeah, there you go. This is the C1851 conversion. Pretty cool for you single action fans out there. Now this, I think I know what this is, but uh, let me just check. Oh, nope, this is not the right one. But this is the FA-83. And I think this also fires in... Uh, let me see... What is this firing? Let me just check the thing. Oh, 454. Uh, Casol. Okay. That's weird. It didn't do that. But this is also, I think, a single action. Yep. Single action for all you single action fans out there. You get a big gun. Uh, that was Penetrator. No, no, that was Soft Point, right? No, yep, no, wait. Yeah, nope, wait. I mean, high grain, sorry. That was high grain. Yeah. So. Oh. Man, not really too good with revolvers. Due to the, uh, me being lefty. Although, with the, uh, loading gate style revolvers, it's a lot easier if you're left handed. Uh, let's see. Four. Wait, wait, that's two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Good enough. I think there might be five in here. <laughs> oh, man. Revolver's always confusing to me. All right. Come on. There we go. And you know what? Before I forget, maybe I should do this. <clears throat> Let's spawn in a, a couple of things here. See if this will work. I don't think it will, but... Uh, spawn a modern suppressor. This will work. Uh, very, very... Various attachments. Um, ooh, stocks. I'll just, uh, uh, which one? I'll just get this one for now. Right, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. There you go. Try muzzle brake. Nope. Does not work. Obviously, it does not attach this. You never know. Suppressors don't work yet. Uh, I mean, I don't really expect most of these to work. There's, like, only one gun here. Maybe the stocks. The stocks will work. But there's like one gun that can attach, uh, that can have uh, attachable suppressors and stuff like that. Oh, scratch my nose. Uh, no rail adapters. No foregrips. Oh well, two guns. Well, two. Oh, uh, you will see. 
So, no under barrels, since there are no po points here to mount stuff on. Just get rid of this. Let me go back to the revolvers that I already went through. See, the B600? Well, this one has rails on it, so you can do that. Stick a uh, thing on top. Can you put a suppressor? Nope. No barrel attachments. Maybe a bayonet. A bayonet might work. Let me let me just check. Go to melee bayonet. We'll do the uh, Mosin. No. Oh, that's too bad. Well, you can mount one at the bottom here. Let's see. Um, oh wait, there is no uh, bayonet for that. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. No, that's that's okay. Oh, do I have a laser? Uh, let me load up Tactical Laser 2. I like this one. Because this one also acts as a rail. We can... Like that. And then we can stick a flashlight underneath. It's always fun. Well, uh, you know what? This is a futuristic gun. Let's get rid of that. All those sights. And let's go with a... Uh, Futuristic looking. Hmm. Hmm. This one? Or this one? Oh, now I'm customizing guns. I don't know what I'm doing. I should uh, stop doing this. I kind of like this one, though. Because it has that space at the bottom there, so you can at, le at least... If if the uh, if the reflex sight, you know... Uh, well, there's no... There's no condition for the reflex sight in this game to die, but if it were to die, then you would have access to the iron sights. Which is pretty cool. You go reflex, iron sights. Also, there's laser. Also, there's a flashlight. Which is... Oh, you know what? I got to do that. Let me go back to uh, here, performance. Let's turn this back to medium. Because I'm not playing rot wieners. There we go. Now it looks better. It looks really bad on Turbo Potato. So now we've got three sights. Irons, lasers, and a reflex sight. <laughs> I can have backup iron sights too. <laughs> but yeah, that works. Okay. Let's just remove this stuff. Alright. Did that one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Lots and lots of weapons today. The uh, Bull 454, which I checked out. Of this ammunition. Stocks will work, obviously. No, no doubt about that. No suppressors. No attachment points here. Scopes. Or the uh, suppressors. No, none of that. No bayonets. No. Uh, isn't there a scope? I think thought there was a scope that was for a specific revolver. Python scope. Let's see if that works. No. It's not. Well, sorry about that. Cool gun and all, but uh, I gotta move on to the next one. Alright. The conversion. Definitely don't think this will work. Nope. If a suppressor doesn't work, then... Uh, Bell attachment doesn't work. So do not. So do not. <laughs> so do not bayonets. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can put a, a, a reflex sight or a scope on this thing. What about a stock? Can you put a stock on this? Yes, you can. If you really want to uh, create a monstrosity that shouldn't be, then you can put a stock on that. Uh, yeah, okay. Next one up. We've got the, <clears throat> the FA-83, which, didn't I try this already? Right, I tried this. Yeah, it worked with a stock. No mounting points. Yeah, I already did. I Sorry about that. I completely forgot. All right, next up is the Hawk 57. Or if I, if I know this correctly, it's like a, a Ruger Black Hawk, but chambered in 357. This looks pretty good. Single action. You can see. You have to pull the hammer back every time. Got a loading gate. Come on. Oh, man. 
This is terrible. This touchpad is not working either. Both of my touchpads are are garbage now. <laughs> they are so worn out from the many hours of playing. I need to fix them. Oh man, I don't really want to do that because this is expensive equipment and I don't want to open it up. How do you sight this thing? Oh, come on. I'm just... There we go. Well, there's the uh, Black Hawk. Pretty cool for you guys, uh, single action lovers out there. Now you got a 3 uh, 357 Magnum. Nope, does not work. Yes, you know, I mean, I, I know that people will probably be saying, oh, you know, of course suppressors don't work. But you never know in this game. That's why you got to test everything out, make sure that things work. Because there are plenty of times when I thought things didn't work, but then somebody told me that they did work, and then I'm like, okay. Well... They don't work like that in real life, but I guess they do in this game. No scopes. No lights, no attachments. Uh, well, except for the stock. But, you know, it's for you purists out there. You just want the gun. There you go. Now, this is a interesting little weapon. Which, uh, this is not the right... That's a bug that Anton will fix. Somebody will tell him that, though. I, I, I don't know if anybody will tell him that, but... This is supposed to be the Lady's Companion. Instead, it says the FA-83. It's chambered in 22... LR? Yeah. And I think it was supposed to be 22-something else. I can't remember what Anton said, but... Uh, But yeah, so works just like a single action. You have to pull the hammer back every time using touchpad down. And then uh, to, oh, well, this doesn't have a loading gate like Anton has said. So you can't just put stuff in there. It's it's already blocked. You What you have to do with most of these, and I used to, um, I used to shoot these uh, single action weapons, but uh, you have to half cock it. Put it on half cock so you can access the uh, the uh, chambers in the cylinder. Oh, did I not unlock this? But, I mean, you know, you should know this by now. If you if you play Ace Three VR regularly, you should know how to. And if you don't, then there are better tutorials out there because I'm not that good. Yeah, there you go. Pull back the hammer. Little tiny gun. Or personal defense. Um, yeah, you know, some people don't really regard this as personal defense, but, uh, you know. I don't know, whatever. Oh, you can't put a suppressor on this thing. <laughs> Unless you could do, like, put a suppressor on top of all the barrels. Yeah, you know, some people don't really. This is just a very curious relic. And uh, no way, none of this stuff is going to fit on this thing. This thing is so tiny. <laughs> It'd be nice to put a laser on this, though. <laughs> put it, like, right on the grip or something. Or maybe, like, I don't know. That would be hilarious. But there you go. The pepper box revolver. <clears throat> really small, tiny. Put it in your pocket. Put it in your purse. Here's the modern version. Uh, it's a new, whatchamacallit, it's a commission somebody uh, made for Anton. He he wanted it specifically. But this is the RS-15. I hopefully think that is, yeah, RS-15. And it's a futuristic version, break action. Comes with its own little speed loader. Uh, fires 22 LR. Oh, no, uh, 22 Win Mag. Okay, Winchester Magnum, okay. So a little bit more power, a little bit more powerful. It's really hard to reload because the controllers end up hitting each other when you try to. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. It's double action. If 
I remember correctly. No need to cock the hammer back every time. Okay, there we go. It's really hard to reload. It's so tiny. Not as tiny as some of the other guns out there, but... Let's see, we can't put any stuff on here. We might be able to put bayonets and uh, other things. Let me just... <sighs> My goodness, yes. Anton told us about this problem in the devlog. Oh, yes, you can. You can stick a... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> this is terrible. You can stick uh, attachments to it. Uh, barrel attachments. So let me go and... Um... Make this a lot easier on myself. I don't know why uh, I didn't think of this before, but let's add a actual barrel to this thing. This is going to be the tough part right here. Just going to have to add on there. There we go. A little tiny barrel. Then we can add uh, we can add some cool stuff here, like um, muzzle brakes. You want a muzzle brake? What goes good with this one? Cobra. Let's try Cobra. Oh, it's still it's still too small. Oh my goodness! All right, I need a ba I need a bigger uh, barrel extension. Let's try long, so we don't have to deal with this. Okay. okay, come on, get on there. There we go. Oh no, that muzzle break. There we go. Oh. Figure out how to reload this thing effectively. If you don't want a muzzle brake, we can add a suppressor, a tiny one. Nice. Or, if you really want to get up close and personal, we can add ourselves a bayonet. Nope, come on, there we go. Which, I, 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 let me just try something first. Come on, grab the bayonet. There we go. Get rid of this. And this is going to be tough. Hold on. Just, uh, oh no. It's on there. There we go. A little spike. Stab someone. I wish we were in the probing grounds, but. I wish we could have a bayonet and a suppressor. So that would be really cool. But we can't have both. Let me try to find that uh, smaller bayonet. The Enfield. Not the Einfeld. Okay, this is, again, this is going to be really tough. Let me just get that there. Oh, no. This actually looks better with the uh, Enfield bayonet. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. I like that. I might spawn lock this. Uh, since it's also break action, it's a lot easier, but, well, to reload, but, well, it's so small, so. That is pretty cool. I might keep that. A little personal uh, defense weapon, like when you're playing take and hold and stuff like that. You know, you get two of them. Oh, yeah. That would be a good idea. Let me, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, nope, 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 nope. Pistol, revolver. Oh, yeah. Okay, they, again, since the gun is so small, now we got two of them. Oh, man. And if you're out of ammo, you just punch people to death. <laughs> well, the saucies. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll just, uh... Let's not mess around with that. Come on. Oh, no. I can't grab this... The, uh, bayonet. Okay, there we go. And, uh, for... For fun, let's just add a... Suppressor on this thing. I like that. I like that look. The wrapped suppressor. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough of that. Oh, wait. Hold on. 
I didn't test anything else. Stock goes well with this. Tiny little stock. Uh, no lasers. That's right. I tested that. No scopes. All right. Cool. So that's the RS-15. Next up, we've got a classic that was already in the game. This is the Smith & Wesson 29. And uh, yeah, it's got a new model. Looks pretty, looks pretty sleek. Looks pretty good. We've all, we all know what the uh, the uh, SMW 29 is like. Ooh, that was close to a bullseye right there. I think I'm hitting better with my. Oop, my. I think I'm hitting better with my target because uh, targets because Anton said that he uh, rebalanced the uh, the uh, what's him call it the um, oh, goodness I can't remember what it's called. See, there's that that brain fart moment again. I can't remember what he said, but uh, the, he zeroed the weapons so that uh, they work better closer to you. So sights actually. Well, I, I'm not I'm not sure I'm not like scientifically knowledgeable about that stuff but yeah so that doesn't work none of these attachments work I don't think there's no rails or hidden anything <clears throat> stocks work though stocks are always great but yeah should be more accurate to closer targets but yeah this uh, you know he took the old one out if I look at the patch notes we just throw this way let me see uh where is that? I think he removed it. Right? He took it out. Well, I don't know. It's it's somewhere in the, the change log, but here's that same gun, but with a bigger barrel. This is the 629. And I think he also removed uh the corresponding model for this. I don't remember exactly what it was anymore. Um Hold on. Let me just look at the Patch notes here, the change log. Six eight six model. Okay, the old Smith and Wesson six eight six is now gone. Replacing that is this, which is the six two nine. More accurate. Which is a little too bad, but you know. It's okay. Get all your dirty, hairy, uh, you know, fantasies. Oh, touch pad, really. It's pretty cool. It's a it's a better looking model. At least I think so. All right, so what's next on the list? We've got the Smith & Wesson Hunter. Or what is this called? Stealth. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Hunter. I was thinking of something else. This is the Stealth. It's, uh, it's a black version. Fires, I think. Oh, hold on. Just wait a second. Is it 357? Oh, it's 44. Okay. So it's just a black version. These are 44, yeah. So it's just a black version of these guns with a top mounted rail so you can actually put something on there if you choose. Let's do a little uh, reflex sight. Pretty cool. Stock works. None of these work though because again, they don't usually work with suppressors. But that's pretty cool. This has got a rail. You can put like a laser on it if you wanted to. Oh, you can also, yeah, this one on top. There we go. Laser and reflex sight. <laughs> no flashlight. Well, I could probably put a flashlight on there, but yeah, it's just a very stealthy version. Again, not too familiar with the uh, revolvers, so sorry about that. And finally, a gun that everybody has been asking for, 
for the longest time. It's a Unica. I know what this gun is. Let me just check. Yeah, the Unica 6. It's got a pretty cool little, uh, you know, top brake. Not top brake, sorry. You know, it's like a little cut there at the top, which is pretty cool. And the barrel is on the bottom. I forgot what these are called, but uh, yeah, everyone's wanted one for a long time. Oh. You know, they like that ghost in the shell. And I don't know if you can put stuff on here. Let me just check. Of course, a stock. You can stick a stock on there. No scopes. Can't put a scope on this thing? No. What about a reflex sight? Oh, yes, you can. All right. You can put a sight on here, so that means you can put a laser if you wanted to. Flashlight, if you wanted to. If you really wanted to, you can stick a flashlight on this thing. Just gonna have to, uh... Just gonna have to trust your instincts on where to aim. Do a little bit of point shooting. Let's do that. See if I can do this without aiming. Ah, close. Not bad. You know, you got it in the holster, pull it out. Yeah. Might be better if I was uh, oh, left-handed and take the stock off. Oh, I can't believe I completely missed. <laughs> well, yeah. If you really wanted to. You could forego the aiming and just put a flashlight on there. Wow, this place is a mess. There's so many speed loaders and bullets lying around. Um, what else to say about this gun? Uh, everyone wanted it. It has a unique kind of uh, firing mechanism that, I don't know, I think you'd better just watch like um, Forgotten Weapons or somebody else talking about the Unica because they know all the details. I don't. All I know is that people wanted it. <laughs> and now it's here. Uh, so you can't put suppressors on it. That means no bayonets. No muzzle brakes. I mean, I've tried. Sticking this thing on the uh, barrel does not work. But yeah, you know, you can put a laser on this thing. Pretty nice. Let's take a reflex on top. Oh. It's a very beautiful model, though. A really nice looking gun. I mean, it would be kind of cool to own one in real life, but uh, since they're pretty rare, well, they're not that rare. They're kind of rare. Oh. But, yeah. Pretty cool. There you go. For you people wanting the Unica. There we go. Throw that away. And there were some other fixes. Uh, I think... Uh, let's see. Which one was that? The, the Model 3 is now single action. Which uh, I, you know, I mean... I kind of liked it when it was double action, but I, I, I understand. You know, you want to make it as close to the real thing as possible. And... Six, right? Six. So, you know. Is this not the right bullet? I Did I just not, like, uh... 
Did it just spawn the wrong bullet? Where'd the bullets go? Oh, I need a speed loader. Oh yeah, there's a speed loader for this. I can't believe you forgot. Oh wait, no, there was a speed loader for this. Uh, I'm talking about the... I'm thinking about the Webley, which I'll touch upon next. But yeah, so this is a single action now, which is... You know, I mean, kind of disappointed it. It's, but I understand. Like I said, I I understand completely. You know, I kind of liked it when it was double action. But I do, like I said, I do understand. You want to be accurate to the real thing. You know, you get your uh, Schofield. Can you uh, fan the hammer? Nope. Oh, you can't. Well, a Anton said he was adding that anyway, so. But you can't fan the hammer. You can pretend like you're fanning it, though. Just hold the trigger down and push down on the th uh, the trackpad. A little bit of fast shooting. Again, just hold down and then press, hold, hold, pull the trigger and press down on the trackpad as fast as you can. <laughs> so you can be gunslinger. Let's grab another one. I meant, uh... So, let's try this. Let's get rid of all this stuff. <laughs> My goodness. Did I just... Come on. Do uh, speed loaders not work with the uh, revolvers? Huh. Oh, well, they're holstered. Yeah, that was going to be really tough. I missed like every shot except for one all right well uh what else was i going to talk about Let's throw those away oh yeah the webley uh if i remember correctly the webley now has a speed loader uh period appropriate one can you pull bullets off no nope, you can't <laughs> but yeah you know one of them cool like Really unique designed little uh, speed loaders. So if you like the Webley, you got that. Uh, oh, it's getting cold in my room. Sorry about that. Ooh. Put the air conditioner on. It's hot, you know? All right. So what else was in the past notes before I stop this? Uh... I don't think there's anything else. That was all the new stuff. Uh, again, you can just watch the uh, devlog. And, um, you know, get all the information there. But let me just check my revolvers here. My R8. This is mine. Uh, since I'm a lefty, I love the R8. Uh, this, all of this stuff. Although maybe I should uh, change the 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 red dot. I don't know why I chose this stock though, but uh... <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, I didn't spawn a. Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. I was wondering why I had a had a ballast song in here. Um, final part of the thing today. Anton made it easier. To work this because everyone had a hard time still not as easy as it is in real life i do own uh a body song is i mean obviously you come from the country that that created this stuff you know you you definitely own one so i know how i know how it works and uh, this is still to me not as uh, not as great as the real thing but i mean i appreciate the the thought you know anton tried <laughs> it's kind of weird 
Nope, it's still gonna close. So, yeah. But, I mean, it's easier. All you have to do is just do that, and then... And flip it up like... It, oh, come on, there we go. Um, hold on. Throw that away. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Although I do want, before I leave, I do want to, uh... uh should I save this in the, uh, the, uh, vault? Eh, probably not. It's a little too small for my liking, but it's pretty cool, though. I mean, I still like it, but it's just... It's really hard to reload since it's so small. Unless you have, like, I don't know. Um, I don't know uh, what the other controllers are like. With the Vive controllers, it's pretty tough because I'm already hitting my controllers. Can you hear that? That's where it is. You gotta, you gotta finagle it in there. So, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna save a vault copy of that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. Just going to look at what I'm missing here, see if I'm missing anything. But, uh, it's really nice. Anton's filling out the revolver category. There's a lot more out there, though. A lot of people keep requesting stuff, so. It's never, uh, it's never, you know, it's never finished. Oh, man, I would love to save a copy of this in the vault. But this is... It's right... You know, it's for right-handed people. You know, maybe, Well, this is their version, all right? A lot of people... <laughs> a lot of people really want the R8 to be, uh, you know, for... To be for right-handers, right? For righties. But this is their version, all right? They got this. Now, I'm jealous. <laughs> I got... You know, I got this. This is... You know, this, these are for left-handed people. Like me. But this, you know, yeah, you got this. Look at that. So now you can't complain, all right? <laughs> if you're if you're a left-handed person who wants an R8, you've got this, all right? This is this is massive. Now I think it may need a speed loader. Anton may need to craft a speed loader for this. That might be the only like criticism, but. Got, you got this stuff. Oh, it's nice. I turned up the graphics uh, the the graphic settings and it looks even better. <laughs> oh wow. Like that blue. Oh, that's nice. That little blue uh blue flash. Goodness. Oh, you guys can't complain. You got you got the better. Oh, you can put a uh you know what? You can put a foregrip on this. But can you, uh, what can I stick on this thing? Maybe the, uh, wait, where is the, uh, large? Here we go. It's like a foregrip on there. <laughs> oh, wait, nope. Nope. Oh, is there a bug there? I think there's a bug there. Can't really grab the foregrip, huh? Hmm. No? Okay, well, uh, Anton will fix that, probably. Let me just try something else here. Nope. Yeah, there's a bug there. Anton will fix that. Someone will tell him. Oh, yeah, you can do an... Uh, Underbarrel. Did I have an underbarrel for my uh, vault weapon? Did I not put one? No, I didn't. Huh. Uh, well, I wasn't really too focused on putting an underbarrel on this thing. So, that's okay. I'll leave it out. But... You can if you want to. Little Picatinny. There you go. Oh, this is going to be loud. 
Whoa! Uh, all the ammunition over there uh, that I threw over there just started exploding. It's a good reminder for you, uh, you guys, is to uh, sweep up your ammunition. Oh, well, that's what I actually completely forgot about that. Now there's a uh, specific little cleanup options out there. You can clean up empty mags, clean up all the mags. Get rid of all the guns and melee, but all the attachments are still there, so... I don't know, maybe <laughs> someone... Uh, maybe I'll, uh, someone will bug Anton about that. Not me. Somebody else. Uh, but yeah, so now you can clean up empty magazines. Let's, uh, let's just try this out. Oh, there's a full magazine right there. Let's just clean up the empty mags. Empty mags gone. But if you want to, you know. Oh, there's an empty mag and a full mag. Clean all the mags up. Gone. And you just want to get rid of guns. There we go. Oh man, there's a lot of content to today's update, which is uh, pretty cool. Oh, 12 o'clock. <laughs> I should, uh, should get some shut eye. Do something else. But yeah, that's the update today. Let me just move out of the way here. And uh, it's pretty cool. If you like revolvers, you'll love today's update. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I still like revolvers too. You know, I mean, <laughs> even though I joke around about, oh, you know, I'm a lefty, revolvers are right-handed, uh, they're still fun to use. So, you know, it's all in jest. I'm not really hating on you right-handed people. <laughs> you guys are pretty cool. Uh, but that's about it for today. Hopefully, if you have H3VR, you can enjoy this this new selection of revolvers and tweaks and fixes. But for now, I am going to take a break. Because my back hurts. And where is the exit button? Stop the recording, please. Let me out of here.